Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Max's Modded Let's Play. And in today's episode, if everything goes to plan, which so far everything else has, we might have a bit of um, a success with a few other mods. Off camera, I waited, and I got some resources. And I have no more drums. Both of them are filled with lava. So, since I have no lava, and I mean a lot of lava, that progresses me a lot further down the line. And me being a numbnut, I forgot I had loads of obsidian. So all this time, we could have done this and gone to the nether. So, and I've got some flint around here because I still need to repair my shovel etc let's see if I could find it there we go so we got a flint we got a steel let's head down the bottom here because that way we don't get as much of the rain noise also if you guys are wondering how much this is generating me 7.32 RF so that's 14 RF per tick that I'm getting that's not bad So, down here, let's say she head over to where the temple is. Oh, up there, okay. So, So then, we now have another portal, which allows us to go to the nether and gather more resources. Though, we can't really mine our lot over there, because of pigmen. I'm going to cut you right upstairs and empty my inventory before we go. So that way, my inventory is pretty much empty when we get over there and when we do a type in mining. Well I should actually make a silky jewel and put it on a pick. Let's see how much string do I actually have? I have five in there and I have two in here. And that's about it. That's not enough to make a silky jewel. It's enough to make Wait what? Okay, I did not expect this. Uh Oh This is what you have to put in to get the out. Oh, I did not know that. That's a bonus. Uh, so, yeah, I need to get more string before we go anywhere. So, best bet would probably to 
Not mining them, never. Because I do not fancy dying. Because, like I say, no death so far. Which is a bonus. I'm going to take the 60 obsidian now with me so I can repair my pick. I can mine a few things for the main reason. Actually, before I go, I will make something that I do need. thinking about it, I have not got a proper weapon. So, I need a weapon. I've got a styling tool rod. I need to still make patterns. Oh god. I have really forgotten about tinkers. Not like me to do that. But since I now have the resources I can work into tinkers a bit more. So sticks. Don't even need that many. More than that. That will be plenty. So, I'm just going to put a stack of cobble in there, and I got up to what pattern? Knife. So we need all of the above. To even get remotely. what I need. And it does come in quite good use. When just like creating loads of stuff. So sword. I should have two patterns at the end. I do not have and yeah I can't sleep no matter how much I want to if I can I'll be surprised but yeah there's spiders outside It must have some sort of pathfinding because I have done that trick a few times now. And then they go peaceful. No, never mind. They don't. So. Need a sword blade. Sword. Guard. And then this I will chuck in here. Yep, don't make it with the max there. Yep, no spiders will die. So, we even had to head out there, so. Now we'll quickly make that though.
because a patent chest can also be used to store the casting and so the ingot casts can be stored in here as well so need that need you need to select the aluminium brass and then I've got iron that I can cast it in so that's half an ingot, one ingot two ingots that I've used Chucking yarn in there. Impressive. Everything happens for a reason on here. I know it does. From bugging to glitch into anything. So, oh, through the door, head into here. Head. Then you want the tool rod. And then you want to do that. But before I do anything, I'm going to escape and I'm going to click O. Reason being, is it brings up this menu. Now, I want to have a look at this. We've got the iron tool rod and the wooden tool rod. This has a 0.1 modifier. This is a 1.2. Manual in is the best with a 0.25. There is not many. You can beat it. Pink slime is 2.5. Oh, pink slime. It's another 2.5. Ooh. Well, I'll be surprised there. Slimy tool rod. Hmm. Pink slime you, um, is a crystal. If I show you, pink slime, there you go. And then, if I go on to the next page, if it decides to work, and we have a lag spike. Oh, it's up here. Pink crystal, which you get from a pink slime block. Oh, And we're back. So, apparently, pink slime crushes again. Anyway, to get the pink slime balls, you need to kill the um, 
pink slime which you spawn in from using the pink slime bucket which you get from the mob not mob grinder a um, it's used to kill cows the uh, I forget the name of it Similar factory it's one of these mob counter uh, no top loader Slaughterhouse, I think it is, or Hunter, right, Rancher. No, uh, it's one of these. What it does is it kills the cows and it gives you, um, few items which then you can use to there you go slaughterhouse it gives you uh, on the next page because it's going to make it a lot easier meat bucket which is yeah biofuel no essence no sludge no so it's not as far as I know Oh god. You got the pink slime, the meat, and I think there's another one. And you can make a mushroom soup bucket. How bizarre can you get? Anywho. Sadly, something has come up. And I've got to head off. So, since we're preparing for the nether, I'll quickly make the sword, which is in here, which now we have a weapon. Prepare to fight. Looks a bit plain compared to all the others. But I can quite easily master that up. So we got master, master and expert. Master excuse me is max level. And look, I can even mine Ardite with my obsidian pick. Which means 